Heather, is there anything you want to say for yourself? Heather, ¿qué pasó? Cuéntanos. ¿Cuál, cuál es tu versión? Were you supposed to be babysitting? Do you know the condition of the one-year-old? Do you care about the Do you care about the condition? Is your daughter doing okay? Is there anything you want to say to your family, to the victims, to the parents of the one-year-old? Do you feel any remorse? Are you responsible? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we obviously wanted to show you this uh, suspect, but also clarify some information that was given to us preliminarily. So uh, to clarify, uh, Heather Rodriguez, is, which is the 36-year-old uh, female that you just met, um, she is not related biologically to the baby. She is, in fact, at my understanding, a caregiver. Uh, th this morning, she, she took custody of the child for purposes of babysitting. At a certain point, we're still trying to determine what, what point that was. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez left the house and left the baby in char in, in, in the custody of, of her, Heather's 13-year-old daughter. Um, that 13-year-old and the baby were in a bedroom. My understanding is that there was an effort to keep the baby sequestered from the dogs because there, there's the, these dogs were known to cause damage. Um, at, at a certain point, the little girl was, uh, the 13-year-old was in the bedroom with the one-year-old little boy uh, when the dogs forced their way into the room. My understanding is that the door leading into that room was already damaged by the dogs at some point uh, before that rendered it uh, un not completely secure. The dogs were able to force their way into the bedroom and at that point began biting the, the baby. Uh, the, the little girl, the 13-year-old, was able to uh, maintain control of the, of the baby, but at this point, and what's being described to me is it was almost a tug of war for the baby between at least one of the dogs and the little girl. At a certain point, additional dogs came into the room as well, and then so then they joined in the attack. The little girl then spent several minutes trying to fight them off. She was able to get the baby and herself into a, into a bedroom, or I'm sorry, a bathroom attached to that bedroom. The dogs then went, also went into that, that bathroom. They forced their way into the bathroom. They then began to resume their attack on not just the, the baby, but also on the 13-year-old. She was also bitten in the process. Uh, at a certain point, she had to break away and, and physically left the baby behind in the bathroom being attacked while she went to go get her cell phone to call for help. She was able to grab her cell phone, come back, and resume fighting with the dogs over the baby. Uh, at a certain point, she was able to call, call for help. Um, she then took the baby and went into another bedroom, uh, at which point she was able to put the baby on the floor and barricade the door using her body to prevent the dogs from coming into that, that bedroom. When deputies arrived, that's when they were able to come in, uh, take custody of the scene, take control of the scene. They found the baby there, began uh, first aid, called for EMS, who was there very pretty quickly. EMS was able to transport the baby to the hospital. Uh, from what we understand about the baby right now, definitely critical condition. My understanding is that they were not able to get the baby stabilized enough to move to university as, we, as what we were ho hoping for, but rather the, they, they maintained care of the baby there at SAMC. Uh, injuries are, are pretty substantial. Um, I've actually seen some pictures of the baby uh, gleaned from our body camera video of the deputies, and it's, it's heartbreaking to see anybody in that condition, even more so a one-year-old baby. Uh, pretty severe head injuries. My understanding is that the, the baby's throat and, and airway are actually damaged to the point where the baby's not able to breathe uh, through normal means. So obviously they've had to do some surgical intervention to allow that to happen. Uh, my understanding is that the actual parents of the baby are now at the hospital. Uh, my understanding is that even though this dog had some sort of history prior to, prior to this happening, in April, the uh, sheriff's office was dispatched for loose dogs, and the dogs were keeping a, the collar uh, inside his car. In other words, they were not letting him get out of his car. They were barking and growling at him, and he was afraid for his safety, did not get out of the car, called for us. We were able to show up and get the dogs uh, uh, away and allow that, that collar to get out of the car. The dogs were secured, and at that point, Ms. Rodriguez was actually cited uh, for having dogs running free of restraint. In other words, unleashed dogs. She was, she was allowed to maintain custody of the dogs at that point. Um, my understanding is that the parents knew that Ms. Rodriguez had dogs, but they did not know that the dogs were problematic. Otherwise, I'm, I'm led to believe they would not have let her 
care for their, their baby uh, the, that the, the way that they did had they known that these dogs were, were unsafe. Uh, at any rate, the parents are with the baby at this point, and Ms. Rodriguez, it is our intent, as she's being transported over to um, South Tower now, our intent is to book her for injury to a child with serious bodily injury by omission. It's a first degree felony. Um, additionally, she may face additional charges for the injuries sustained by her own daughter, the 13-year-old, in other words. And I've got to be honest, uh, the 13-year-old in this instance is absolutely, I'm considering her a hero. She, I think that, that her actions led to that baby not being mauled even more seriously or even killed as a result of these, this savage dog attack. So this little girl, unfortunately, she sustained injuries herself. Um, I, I believe she's going to have some lasting psychological effects as a result of it, but I do, I consider her a hero. CPS is actually involved in this case as well, not just for the welfare of the baby himself, but additionally, they're going to be, uh, as we speak, they're heading over to the house to make sure that the 13-year-old is, is able to uh, you know, hold it together as a result of what she saw and experienced today as well. It's a, certainly a heartbreaking situation for all, but again, Heather Rodriguez uh, will be booked, and our, our intent is to book her for injury to a child, serious bodily injury. That's pending what the, if the DA's office will accept that charge, but that is our intent as we, as we speak. If there's any changes to that, I will update you. Esta tarde, uh, ustedes conocieron a la esta sospechosa uh, Heather Rodriguez. Se aparenta que Heather, uh, al principio nosotros pensábamos que era la madre del, del bebito, sino que nosotros nos dimos cuenta que no es la madre. Ella solamente estaba cuidando al niño. Uh, ella en algunos momentos dejó el niño con la niña de ella que tiene 13 años de edad. Ella se fue de la casa y dejó la, el bebito bajo la custodia de la, de la niña de 13. Uh, se aparenta que la niña uh, estaba en el cuarto con el bebito cuando unos, los perros de la casa uh, forcejearon y en, lograron entrar por una puerta a la recámara donde estaba la niña con el, con el bebito. Uh, los, los perros pudieron hacer eso porque ellos ya habían dañado la puerta, uh, it's, it's, como que si, uh, ya habían da, dañado la, puer, la puerta al punto, hasta el punto que ya no podían atrancar la puerta, sino que los perros tuvieron éxito en entrar al cuarto, atacaron, uno de los perros atacó el bebito. Uh, la niña empezó a forcejear con el perro uh, por, el, por el niño y ya los otros perros entraron y ellos también empezaron a atacar el, el bebito. La niña logró uh, pelear con los perros hasta el punto que ella entró a un baño con el, con el bebito, pero desafortunadamente los perros también entraron a ese baño, siguieron atacando el bebito, el bebito y también la niña sufrió heridas, eh, mordidas. Uh, ella... En ese, en ese momento no, te, no tenía su teléfono, quería hablar al 911, pero ella tuvo que dejar por, por unos momentos el, el bebito con los perros. Ella se fue a, a, a agarrar su, su teléfono, sí lo recogió, 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 entró para atrás para el, para el baño y ella uh, peleó con los perros hasta que ella logró sacar el, el bebito a través del, del baño. Ya ella se encerró en otro cuarto, dejó al niño en el, en el piso Mientras que ella detuvo la puerta para, para prevenir que los perros entraran otra vez, otra vez, ya cuando nuestros oficiales llegaron, tuvieron éxito en, en separar los perros y ya uh, darle primeros, primeros auxilios al bebito y hablar a los médicos donde el, el bebito fue llevado al hospital con, con uh, heridas graves, uh, heridas a la cabeza, a la garganta. Y uh, yo he visto fotografías del, del bebito y son... Eh, es, está fea la situación con el niño, uh, por, por no poder, poder decir más en, en mucho detalle, pero las, las heridas son, sí son graves. Uh, los padres de la, del bebito están con él en el hospital, ahorita en el hospital Samsi. No pudieron llevar el niño para universidad uh, por, por la, la seriedad de las, de las heridas del, del bebito. Entonces, ahí está en Samsi ahorita. Ojalá él va, vaya a sobrevivir sus heridas, pero sí son heridas graves. Lo que sí se sabe de la historia de estos perros y de esta mujer fue que en abril nuestros oficiales recibieron una llamada a la casa de esta que los perros estaban fuera de la casa y estaban deteniendo un hombre en su carro. No lo dejaban uh, salir del carro. Uh, él le dio miedo, le, nos, nos habló a nosotros, nuestros oficiales tuvieron éxito en separar los perros, pero ya... Uh, en ese momento, mientras que los perros no habían mordido a nadie, 
le dieron un tiquete a, a Heather Rodríguez por tener los, los perros sueltos, pero ella uh, siguió con custodia de los, de los perros. Ahora, sí, uh, nosotros les quitamos los perros entre nosotros y, y Animal Control, y ahora se, se va a averiguar qué va a pasar con los perros ahí en, es, en el futuro. Uh, más que seguro que, que él, esos perros ya no vayan a, a regresar a esa casa. Desafortunadamente, uh, para mí, uh, si yo, pre, yo prefiero ya poner a dormir esos, esos perros, aunque uno no quiera, uh, la vida de, de este niño es más importante. La, el, la seguridad del, del público es más importante, digo. Y pues uh, ya de allí nosotros vamos, estamos llevando a Heather para la, la cárcel y ella se va a enfrentar con cargos por causa, causar heridas a un niño uh, con heridas uh, graves. Any questions? The baby boy is in critical life-threatening injuries? Definitely life-threatening injuries, yes. Do we know the extent of the 13-year-old's injuries? No, my understanding is that her injuries, uh, she was, it, it, it's, it's, it's horrible to say she was covered in blood, but I think the, the majority of that blood was, belonged to the baby. Uh, she was injured, but I don't believe she was injured so much to the point where she had to be hospitalized at this point. She was left there at the house. Now, CPS, once they get over there, they may determine that she needs to be hospitalized. That's certain, or at least removed from the home. Uh, you know, so, so at, at this point, thankfully, she's she, uh, non-life-threatening injuries on a little girl. Again, I consider her a hero in this situation. She got left in a pretty, pretty bad situation for any 13-year-old to be left in charge of a baby like that, but in a house full of vicious dogs, you know, what did this lady, the suspect, think was going to happen at that point? Monday? La sospechosa esta vive en la casa de esa. La hija, de la, la niña de 13 años es su hija. Ella solamente estaba cuidando el bebito en esa casa con sus perros. Entonces, ella también es la dueña de los perros, pero no es la madre del, del bebito. ¿El bebé no vive ahí? No, el bebé no vive ahí. Vive en otra parte con su familia. Ella lo, la, la, lo, la, le, le recogió al niño esta mañana y lo trajo para la casa para cuidarlo. You called the 13-year-old a hero. How long do you think she went back and forth with this dog before she was able to call 911 mm -hmm. and then actually get help on the scene? It was about two minutes. All said and done, this attack was about two minutes. Uh, but I mean, the, the dogs, I haven't seen the dogs, but they're described to me as XL uh, pits or bulldogs. So in other words, they're very thick, very heavy, muscular uh, dogs. And so, you know, for a, a 13 year old little girl, I haven't seen how big she is, but for her to be able to fight for, two minutes is a long time to fight. Uh, you know, when you're fighting, when you're outnumbered, we're, we're talking at least two, possibly three dogs that she was fighting with, probably each weighing more than she did. Um, you know, my, I'm getting my understanding because it's four dogs. Um, you know, this little girl did her very best to fight for two minutes. And, and I think that, it, you know, God willing, this baby survives. I think it was in no small part due to the heroic actions of this little girl. Super proud of her. <laughs> Solamente le pagan a esta señora que, que uh, uh, mantenga a su niño de, de, su, de, cuando, mientras que ellos estén en, en el trabajo. No, no, es, no, hay, no, no son parientes, sino que ella solamente les cuida a los niños por dinero. Y es lo que estaba pasando este, este día. Por lo que nos dicen noso a nosotros, los padres sabían que Heather tenía perros, pero no sabían que los perros es, eran bravos. Eh, entonces, desafortunadamente para, para esta familia uh, tuvieron que, que encontrar esa información así. No, me, me, uh, this is not the first time they, they babysit, right? Sir? No. She's, she's, she's the baby, the, has the baby been in that house before? Yeah. Antes, antes ha cuidado el niño en esa, en esa casa, pero más que seguro que la, la niña de 13 ya sabía que el problema que ellos tenían con esos perros, entonces por eso detuvo al, ni, al bebito en el, en el cuarto. En dado caso, esperemos que no, si el niño llega a morir, ¿qué cargos puede enfrentar? Bueno, pero ahorita este, este uh, cargo, uh, si, si lo toma el, el fiscal, uh, este cargo cubre si el niño llega a fallecer. Uh, aunque no quisiéramos, aunque estamos ahora, uh, en, en estos momentos estamos orando que no pase, si, si Dios no quiera, quiera el, el niño fallece, uh, este cargo también cubre eso. Out of the four dogs, do we know if they all took part in the attack? Do we have a number on that? At, at this point, no. I believe at least two, uh, but it's it's possible all four of them. Four of them may have. Uh, you know, we'll once we find out, we'll, we'll see what ends up what ends up happening. Uh, you know, obviously for me, any any 
any dog that took part in it needs to be put down. I don't think there's any scenario in which we could see giving any of these dogs back. So obviously that's, that's outside our hands. It's up to animal control to determine which dogs were, were involved. But, uh, you know, hopefully all of these dogs are removed from that situation. Uh, you know, and any that are responsible for protecting a little boy probably need to be put down. As heartbreaking as that sounds, the life of a little baby is much more important. You answered my second question a little bit there, but who are the dogs in custody with currently and what's the next step for them? You know, animal control has the dogs now. And animal control will, will determine that, uh, you know, who, what happens to the dogs at this point. Uh, you know, we'll certainly have input on it, or uh, God willing, we'll have input on it. Uh, of course, my, my preference is that those dogs never go back to that home ever again. Are you ever going to be, though, about how Heather cared more for the dogs? Than they for the dogs? Sure. I mean, and that is a given. You know, while initially we thought she was related to the baby, we've come to find out that she's not. What I can tell you is that at that scene, they really gave our, our deputies a hard time as far as they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't want, they didn't want to give us the dogs. And then it was, okay, we're just going to give you this one, but not these others. You know, the deputies stepped in and said, no, we're going to take all the dogs, uh, you know, our deputies in conjunction with animal control. We took them all in an abundance of caution. If we're able to find out that one of the dogs or several of the dogs were not responsible for it, then fine, perhaps those can go back. But, you know, she seemed to be more concerned with, with what was going on with those dogs than with the fact that, that her inaction, her omissions, caused, almost caused the death of a baby and still might, God forbid, if this ends up happening. Any idea where she went when she left the house? No, I, I'm not able to, to, to determine that. I'm not, I don't know that information at this point. I believe we're, we're trying to find out if she went to work or went to run an errand. Uh, but, you know, certainly nothing could... could uh, be so important that you would just endanger the life of a baby like that. We also don't know how long she was gone from the house. Before. We don't. Uh, we don't. I was, I was just asking that question before we came down, and we still don't know that is how long she was gone. Can you also talk about the fact that once she's gotten down here, it seems like she's not cooperating? Oh, she came down with us, and she refused to give a statement. Uh, doesn't, that she didn't have, any, have anything to say to us. And as you see her there, she didn't seem very concerned at all for, for about anything. Um, again, her omissions definitely affected the rest of this baby's life and hopefully didn't lead to, lead to, to something even worse happening to him. Sí, no, cuando llegaron los nuestros oficiales a la casa, ella solamente quería, uh, no nos quería soltar los perros, sino que a fuerza tuvieron que quitarle los perros y luego ya la arrestaron a ella. Ya cuando llegó aquí con nosotros, nuestros oficiales uh, trata, intentaron de, de in, entrevistarla y no, no nos quiso decir nada, sino que ella solamente, uh, bueno, no, no nos dijo nada. Y ya pueden ver la actitud de ella como, como ella se estaba portando. A ella como que no le importa nada, uh, solamente la vida de sus perros. Can you just talk about the state of Bear County in San Antonio with, it seems, dog attacks happen, unfortunately, once a week. Sure. I mean, it's something that we're seeing way too often. And so, uh, you know, I think the whole system, city, county, statewide, I think all of us could stand to tighten things down a bit. We know that it's a continuing issue with us. As we, as at present, we're speak, you know, we're looking at our own internal policies and say, what can we do? Uh, frustratingly enough, well, not frustratingly enough, but, but unfortunately in this situation, animal control doesn't answer to, to, to me or my agency. So we do what we can to work with them. So we'll see what we can do to tighten up our part of the, of the process. Uh, we'll certainly work with them. And I have all, indi all, you know, all the indicators are that they'll work with us, but we just need to see how can we work better together to prevent these things from happening, because it it's, it's something that we're seeing with, with much more frequency, uh, dog attacks on the elderly, dog attacks, on, uh, dog attacks on, on babies, and it's not something that we can continue to just let the status quo like that. Okay, thank you all so much.